In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Welcome, or welcome back to Life on the Fringe. Uh, today, we are going to be playing uh, six Bible games that we got at, you guessed it, the Dollar Tree. Is that the last of the, yes. Okay, so we did Bible Go Fish, Bible Matching, Bible Trivia, and Bible Hearts. That's the last of the games that we know. Okay. Now I'm excited to move into the games that we don't. So let's start with Noah's Ark. <laughs> Put a biblical spin on the classic card game of Old Maid with these cute and colorful cards. Children will giggle with the light, matching up the adorable animals two by two, just as Noah did. Just don't wind up as the skunk. That's the rules? <laughs> I, I haven't played Old Maid maybe once in my life. <laughs> How do we play Old Maid? Mm. Okay, we're gonna look it up. That's funny, this one's just... Hearts was like super in-depth about their explanation. This is like, it's Old Maid! It's Old Maid! <laughs> it's Old Maid! You've never played Old Maid? <laughs> just play Old Maid. The Go Fish instructions were more specific than these. <laughs> so we're taking these. We're looking. Oh, oh, wait, I've got the. There's an instruction card oh. hidden inside there. Each player removes all matching pairs out of their things. All right, hold on. These cards are so cute. Look, look at the elephants. Look at that. That's cute. Face down, right? Yeah. Here's a face up. Oh, oh, my bad. Face down. How do you have so many pairs? What the hell? I have nothing else. You just have the one pair? Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, youngest player begins the game by picking a card from a play from the player on the left. If it matches a card in their hand, the player removes the match and sets aside. If it doesn't match, the player puts this card in his hand. The player's turn ends. Do we do it without... Oh, face down. Okay, so yeah, take a card from my hand. Okay. It's just going to match, right? It does not. I think there's... A... Oh, I messed up. Give me that. Okay, let's okay. try again. Can I try again then? <laughs> yes, you can try again. I'm also really, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think you automatically forfeit. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. No, no, it's my turn. No, I get to take... What? If you make a pair, you get to go again? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right. But it's just the two of us, so how the heck? Uh, well, because, you know. Do you want to go? I think that makes more sense. All right, go ahead. Because then we can pass around the skunk. All right, you want me to go now? Yeah. Which I know you have. So it's either monkey or stunk, skunk. Monkey or skunky. Monkey or skunky. This is the monkey. This is the monkey, you the skunky. It's still cute. Why do I gotta hate on the skunk? Yeah, the skunk's an apple too. It should have been like unicorn. Should have been people, because that's the people who drowned. There's no one in his family, and every other human being died. Did they all say that? The Pairs of animals came to Noah. Genesis, it's on the bottom. Was Noah's Ark one of them too? I think one of the cards was the Ark. Yeah. Noah. There's a pair of Noah. <laughs> but not skunk. I mean, that's a progressive set of cards. <laughs> this is the pair of humans that you get. It's two men. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Both named Noah. Th this changes the Bible completely. If there were two Noahs. Two Noahs. And no other humans. And now, 
for our final event, Bible Heroes. I will say all these cards have been designed differently. Yeah, they so, put a lot of effort into this. Yeah. It's like 33 cents a pack, and this is pretty, pretty, pretty intense. Okay, you need a pencil and paper. We got it. Shuffle the cards and stack them with full illustration of characters up. Stack them? Stack them. Okay. Oldest player goes first by reading the character's story out loud to the player at the left. The listening player must then name at least one fact found on the back of the card. <laughs> player receives one point per correct fact. Total possible facts points per play is three. <laughs> Game yep. ends when all cards have been read, and the player with the most points wins. So it's trivia. It's trivia, but it's it's worse than trivia. Because <laughs> some of these people have more than three facts. All right. Here's, here's how the, the front of the card looks like this, and this is the back of the card. It's just a pile of text. Okay. Give me some facts about... Oh, wait. Do I just have to read this? I read this, you right? Read them, I read right? this and story. And then I give you facts. <laughs> Noah. God looked at the earth and saw that there was a lot of evil in the world. He decided to send a flood to cleanse the land. Before flooding the earth, God found a good man named Noah. He told Noah to build a big boat called an ark. Noah obeyed God. Noah loaded two of every animal onto the ark. God sent rain from, for 40 days and nights, but Noah and his family were safe on the ark. When the rain stopped, he put a rainbow in the sky. The rainbow was a promise to Noah that God would never flood the whole earth again. See, we should have played this before trivia. I would have been much better off. All right, give me three Noah facts. Do you have three Noah facts? I, that's the whole card. So do you just so, tell so me? So I think I tell you. <laughs> The facts. Because what is there left to say? And you don't know three facts outside of the listed facts. <laughs> no, but hold on. So so I'm supposed to have facts here? Yeah, you're supposed to. I'm supposed to have points for facts. I think you just listen to my story and then you tell me these facts. Oh, it's a reading <laughs> comprehension game? Yeah. Oh, all right. Tell me what I told you. Raining 40 days, 40 nights. Okay. Rainbow, covenant. Great. Two animals. Two of every kind of animals. You're great. You're so good at listening. The LSAT is finally paying off, guys. <laughs> oh, God. Here comes Ruth. Ruth was a devoted and unselfish servant of God. After her husband died, Ruth cared for his mother Naomi. His? His. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought it was Ruth's mother, but it was His. her husband's. Mm -hmm. Naomi decided to return to her homeland. So Ruth told Naomi, Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God my God. Ruth left her home and moved to Bethlehem to be with Naomi. God blessed Ruth for her loyalty to Naomi. God bless Ruth for her royal loyalty to Naomi. Um, oh, oh, I forgot everything. This is a lot of pressure. Her husband Peter died, and she cared for the mother-in-law. Uh, the husband was never named. Oh, but I'll, sure. Her husband died. Yeah, and then she took care of her mother-in-law Naomi. I feel like another fact. Speculation. I can only get three. No, no, I'm saying oh, oh. another speculative fact is I think Ruth had the hots for Naomi. Oh. She follows her to her hometown. She converts religions. She takes in her people. And God blessed Ruth 
for her loyalty to Naomi. These are some lesbian lovers right here. They're just friends. They're just good friends. Gal pals. We cannot go through this whole stack. We are not going through this whole stack. Do you just want to skip to the good ones? Let's see. Do you want Jesus? Where's Jesus? Oh, I don't want Jesus. I'm am interested to hear what they have to say about Jesus because I already do Jesus. Okay. But I don't want to do Jesus. Okay. Who do you want? Adam and Eve, Saul. I want to hear the Adam and Eve version of this game. Because there's two stories of Adam and Eve Zachariah. in the Bible. Hey, Mary Magdalene. Love her. But, uh, no, I would like to read about uh, Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve, okay. Which version did they go with for this story, I wonder? Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were the first people on Earth. God loved Adam and Eve and placed them in the beautiful Garden of Eden. God put Adam in charge of tending the garden. He gave Adam and Eve plenty of food to eat, but they were forbidden to eat the fruit from the tree of knowledge. One day, a serpent tempted Eve, and she and Adam ate from the tree. This upset God, so they had to leave the garden. Well, they left out a quite a bit. <laughs> In this story. There's no bone. Well, I don't like the bone version anyway. There's a clay version where they're both made out of the earth. I like that version better. They're both in the Bible. And the other thing is, they both ate an apple. It was not just Eve who ate an apple. She no, ate... it says they both did. She and Adam ate from the tree. All right. It's on there. No. I guess somebody wasn't listening. But I got all the points. But Adam... Is in charge of the garden. Yeah. Jesus is God's son, born in a stable to Mary and Joseph. Jesus performed miracles and taught people about God. God sent Jesus to earth to save the world from its sins. Even though he was perfect, Jesus took the punishment for the bad things people did. He died on a cross, but God raised Jesus just as he said he would. Then Jesus went up to heaven. One day, Jesus will return and take those who love him to heaven to live forever. He will come again to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. Amen. <laughs> Very heavy on the revelations aspect of it. Yeah. Oh, how much can you fit on the back of a cart? True. They got the important stuff. Yeah. But I think it's Protestant. That's what I've decided based off that card. What makes you say that? Uh, because, yeah, Jesus is God's son, but God is also Jesus is also the Holy Spirit. Right, right. But it, that's a Catholic thing. I think there's a couple other sects that also have the Holy Trinity, but most don't. Was Mary engaged to Joseph when... And the Gabriel visited them? Uh, I believe they were betrothed. Okay. But they weren't married. They weren't married. Yeah. Born out of wedlock. That was the whole scandal part. Wow. And Joseph almost left her. And then Gabriel had to come to Joseph and explain that Jesus wasn't really anybody's baby but his. I really wonder how that conversation went down. <laughs> God's like, look. I know this is difficult for you. But I just want you to know. She didn't cheat on you with any other man. And then Joseph's like, oh, okay. And then God's just like, I fucked her though. <laughs> <laughs> And then Joseph is like, oh. <laughs> all right, <laughs> sounds fair. Joseph was a bit of a cuck. And now he's, now he's like, what is it, tunnel buddies? Tunnel buddies with God? Yeah. Damn. That's got to be sacrilegious. <laughs> it, <it's>, <laughs> <laughs> totally is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's it. 
that's there's not that much in here. There's some pretty weird strangers in here, though. John, no, like Zacharias. He's in the Bible a lot. <laughs> it's God punishing me for what I said. <laughs> I guess Bible Heroes was a little disappointing. I thought we were going to be like battling our heroes. Oh, like a, like a Pokemon. Style? Yeah, yeah, or like like um, like war. I thought it was going to be war. But then you have to rank prophets against each other. It would get it would get pretty conflicting. Right, and that's what it was going to be. The spicy part it was like Jesus was going to be the trump card or whatever. But then, how do you rank Noah versus John the Baptist? I think. See, that should have been Bible heroes. They should have made some really strong claims about who the heroes are, and then we could have Who would you judged. pick, Noah or John the Baptist? John the Baptist baptized Jesus. Yeah, that's why I think John the Baptist would be, like, the queen, basically. However... But then there's Virgin Mary. Well, hold on. I think Mary's up there. Mary's up there. I think Mary's second. Yeah, she's got to be second. But between Noah and, like, you can't have John the Baptist, Mary, or Jesus without Noah. Do Old Testament characters get boost points? But. Because he made the covenant. But. And apparently everyone's related to him. Then does Adam and Eve, do they take the highest ranking? Is it just oldest to youngest, basically? Unless your family tree doesn't connect to Jesus? But it's a hero. Like, Jesus saved everybody. All right. Adam and Eve screwed everybody. This, that's true. <laughs> They're probably last. <laughs> they might be last. Okay, well, in that sense, well, John the Baptist saved people by baptism. Right. Noah saved animals. So now we're getting into this specious thing. Right. And I don't want to get into, like, vegan debates. Well, okay, here's my, here's my, my knock on Noah. I think there would have been a different Noah had Noah not been chosen. God would have found somebody to be instead. But John the Baptist, there's only John. But you can't have another John that was born at the same time as Jesus. John's older than Jesus. Whatever. They're basically brothers. They're cousins. Yeah, they're cousins. So, John needed to be John, but Noah could have been any other Noah. The role of Noah. But God chose Noah because he thought everybody else deserved to die in a flood. <laughs> well, I, okay, I don't know how to conclude this video because I'm clearly going to H-E Double Hockey Sticks now. <laughs> let's, let's talk about which one do you think was the best? Which one do you think... Let's, let's pick our favorite and our least favorite. I have two favorites. Can I pick two favorites? You can pick two favorites. I liked Bible Hearts. I also liked Bible Go Fish. Okay. Because I like Hearts the game, and I thought Go Fish was funny. It was so funny. Bible Go Fish was great, just the, the, the structure of it. All right, you pick your favorites. Um, I think I like Bible Matching, because I won. No bias there at all. <laughs> but Bible Go Fish was, had me laughing the most. I think the Bible trivia and Bible heroes were just a letdown. You know, it's just like, oh, here's facts about the Bible. Bible heroes to me is not a game. No, it's not. So by default, it's the worst. Yes. But I feel the worst. After playing Bible trivia, I genuinely feel bad because of the pandemic. We just have not been going to mass and we've gone to a couple like online masses, but it's not the same. I can't wait to get vaccinated. 
remember when we went to mass and we used a burrito as the body of Christ? It was a tortilla. <laughs> a tortilla. Yeah, for Easter mass last year, it obviously it was the pandemic, so we were watching it at home. And so we used a tortilla for the body of Christ. And champagne. And champagne for the blood of Christ, because that was the only alcohol we had. Anyhow, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of our content and join our community, click subscribe. Ding the bell button to know when we post, which is every day, different times. Uh, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!